Hello, fellow traders. Nitty Bar Trading coming to you on a Wednesday. No, sorry, Tuesday. Tuesday, August the 8th. It is a little bit past 4 o'clock. And this is the sum report for day number three of testing this new strategy that we're that we're doing. And yeah, just to kind of summarize, we I mean, right now, my only job is to follow my entry rules and my ATM strategy. Um, that's really it. I just need to follow my rules and the results are what they are. Um, kind of like it. It's actually very, very low stress. Um, I just follow my entries. I follow my rules and then whatever the results are, we log them. We use that data to make some tweaks, make some changes as we see things, uh, that we can make it better. That's basically the plan right now. So for today, again, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it was a good day. We, we followed our rules. Now, one thing I will say is today I did miss another setup and it was another case of the market NQ was just moving too fast. I literally just wasn't quick enough. Um, now I think that's the third time now that that has happened and of course, each time it would have resulted in a winning trade. So that's, I think, always the case. But um, it has gotten me kind of dis... I'm thinking about using ES for this strategy for that simple reason that ES just moves a lot slower. And I don't think we would ever have an issue where we would miss a move and miss a setup because it's moving too fast. It could happen, but unlikely. So that is definitely something I'm looking into considering I want to currently, I want to back test ES a little bit more uh, just to see if it's a viable option and viable strategy and how I need to change my settings. And there's different things I just need to test a little bit before I decide, you know, before we actually take it to this level where we're trading it live. Um, so having that in mind, I still, I mean, I'm not giving up on NQ and in, in that sense, but it is something that we need to consider uh, moving forward. If we miss a lot of setups just because price is moving so fast, then, you know, that is an issue. So anyway, if we go into today... Um, this was our day. We took a total of seven trades, uh, four winners. We had a gross P and L of $410. Our commissions were 111. We had a 57% win rate. Um, it, it was an okay day. Um, if we drill down a little bit more here, um, for example, this first trade, um, again, part of our strategy, our ATM strategy is we, we are trading four contracts. We take profit on our initial, on three contracts, we take profit at 30 ticks. And we let our runner go, and we basically take profit at our next support and resistance area uh, for the runner. And we don't move our stop. We keep our stop. We don't move it to break even. That's what the back testing showed. That's what showed us to be the most profitable over time. Right now, it doesn't really feel like it, but we're going to trust the data and uh, we're going to keep going like that. We obviously are only three days in. It is way too early to make decisions on ATM strategies in that sense. So, like for example, this trade, you know, took along here, captured our first 30 ticks profit. We were um, 80 ticks in profit right here. Um, and unfortunately we got stopped out. So, you know, that's where you see the kind of, oh, you know, should I just have taken my 80 ticks profit on my runner? Um, but you know, the next time over time, it's been proven to keep the stop where it is and just let it run. Obviously it didn't work in this time at all, but that's why we do this. It's why we test it. Uh, so we have the data to look back and then make decisions based off of that data. Um, here was probably our best trade of the day. 
Um, and this again, I wanted to kind of show this just to reference. So here uh, we went long. And uh, I don't know if remember if you guys remember or not, but yesterday we got stopped out a couple times to the tick and then the price went in our direction. Well, this time <laughs> we had our stop one tick below this bar. I'm not I'm not kidding. We had our stop one tick below and we came down one tick close to our stop and we didn't actually hit our stop. It reversed, hit our profit target here and hit our profit target all the way up here. So had a really nice trade on that. But <laughs> I did want to show that, that sometimes my stop maybe is in the right place, or I just got lucky. That could also be the case. So regardless, we will take it. Um, overall for the day, we obviously had another uh, trade where I took profit with my 30 ticks. Then we got stopped out on my runner, and it happened again here. And then in between that, we had we had a total of three losses where we just the trade went against us immediately, and we lost on all four contracts. That's gonna happen. Um, over doing the back testing, we had about a sixty-four percent win rate. So right now we're performing a little bit below that. So I'm hoping here in the next couple of days that'll you know, balance itself out. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, we are looking also into only trading with the trend currently, um, playing with a couple different kind of indicators that will clearly show where we only want to take longs and we only want to take shorts. So playing with that currently, um, I'm definitely, I'm just not cut out to take reversal trades it's just not in my DNA, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I think it's, I always think it's important to trade something that you're comfortable trading. And if I'm not comfortable trading reversals and they have a very low win rate, I just don't see a need to do it. <clears throat> so we're going to eliminate that, looking on the best way where we can clearly define what that is. So... I think that's very important. I don't want any discretionary kind of entries. I want to have it clearly defined and a clear laid out plan for my entries. So working on that as well. But again, I would consider this a successful day. We followed our plan. That's what's most important. So that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everyone. And uh, have a great rest of your night. And God bless.